competitive. competitive. Be, be competitive. Hello everyone, this is Brandon Leon, Better Homes and Gardens. I'm here with Keith Collins of Movement Mortgage. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you need to do to get your offer accepted. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, you have to be fully approved, right? You've gotta have your taxes, your W-2s, your paycheck stubs, all that information has to be in line, credit's gotta be pulled, and you gotta get it to your lender. But here's the difference. Most lenders review that and they give you your best guess in a pre-approval letter or a pre-qualification letter. That five your information has got to go in front of an actual underwriter. You have to be fully approved to the point it, where all you're missing is a contract, a title report, and an appraisal. Have to get that done. Yeah, yeah, super important. And what that allows you to do is that allows you to write 15 day offers, right? Which is number two. Right. Number two, 15 day offers. So talk about that. So a 15 day offer, this doesn't mean that you have to close in 15 days, but if there's 10 offers in the property, they all have financing, they're all 30 days, and you guys come in with a 15 day close, now all of a sudden you percolate to the top of the file because the, the, the appearance is you have your stuff together. A 15 day close is close the escrow in 15 days, you get really tight on those contingencies, we protect you because you're already fully underwritten and approved. Beautiful. And that leads us to number three, the love letter. What the heck is a love letter? It's one of my favorite things. The love letter is something that we write specifically to the seller to put to put a face with a name. When you write an offer, there's, there's no connection, but we're writing a letter to the seller knowing, uh, as the buyer saying, hey, this is who we are. This is what we love about your house. We're going to take care of your house like it's ours. And I cannot tell you how many times this has made the difference on getting an offer accepted. So we write it whether the people are living there or not. I think we've had a couple opportunities in this with the love letter where the, you're actually not the best offer. Absolutely. But you actually still get the house because of the love letter. The seller connects with the buyers. They're like, I want those people in our home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Number four, you have to have an engaged real estate team. The buyer's agent has to be all over the selling agent to try to, to figure out how we become the most competitive offer. What other offers do we have? What is most important to the seller? 60 day escrow, a rent back. We have to have have that information so that the offer is structured so that the sellers would accept it and the lender has to be all over the listing agent too. We don't provide them your personal information but I have to be calling them to tell them we have a, an approved buyer that can close quick. Like if you accept this offer, it's as good as cash. I can't tell you how many times as a listing agent I've had an offer just show up in my email without ever talking to anyone and not being anywhere close to what my seller wants. So I can tell you personally, even on my own home sales, like of selling my own homes, same thing, people just submitting offers. And that is not going to help you get your offer accepted. Number five, be competitive. Be, be, be competitive. It's the truth though. You have to be competitive. If you want the house, you have to be ready and willing to pay for it. I, I can't tell you how many times people have come to me and said, I really like the house, but I only want to offer this much. Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, there are three other buyers that are already willing, ready and willing to pay top dollar for this house, what makes you think that you're going to get it? Yeah, and, and that doesn't mean you're not going to get a good deal on a home. We, we want we have to balance that, right? The balance between what is the value of the home, how bad, like what's your desire to get it, and really what are you willing to pay for the home? It's true. So that's why you want to have a quality, engaged real estate team that's going to be able to educate you on how to get your offer accepted because that's the most important thing, right? When you love a house, you want to make it your own and we want to help you do that. Brandon Leon, Better Homes and Gardens. Keith Collins, Movement Mortgage. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Have a blessed day.